We're here in the San Francisco Bay Model Visitor Center where you have a chance to see the only operational hydraulic working model in the United States today. The primary purpose in building the model was to test the John Reber plan. John Reber wanted to dam the bay. He wanted to build two freshwater reservoirs by constructing two large dams, one where the Bay Bridge is and one where the San Rafael Richmond Bridge is. After the uh, construction of the Bay model from 54 to 57 and all the tests of his theory and his idea, it was summarily rejected. Fortunate for all of us, or we probably wouldn't have a San Francisco Bay today. After the construction of the model, it was used as a scientific operational research test facility from 1954 until January of 2000. Scientists could predict impacts on oil spills, uh, major storms, uh, but mostly the impact of man-made projects on any part of the shoreline. The San Francisco Bay model represents about 1,600 square miles of land and water resources, about 70 miles inland from the coast of California. The Pacific Ocean is built all on sand, but the entire rest of the model and the delta are built out of concrete slabs. There's about 286 of them. They're 12 foot squares. They weigh about seven tons each, and they're all elevated about 30 to 38 inches up off of the floor. We have uh, two supercomputers and also a lot of very sophisticated technology in a little facility called the Tide Hut. Every morning when we turn on the computer, it takes about 20 to 21 minutes to flood the entire model and the delta with about 135,000 gallons of water. At the end of the day at four o'clock when we close to the public, we close the system down, all the water drains back into the sump tank. You'll see throughout the model there's about 250,000 copper tabs. They're embedded in the concrete and their primary purpose is to help provide frictional resistance to help create the right tides and currents. There's three specific criteria that are important in analyzing how the model is calibrated and how it operates. The horizontal scale of the model is a thousand to one. So for every thousand feet underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, one foot in the model. The vertical scale is a hundred to one. So for every hundred feet underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, one foot down in the model. But the most important factor is time. Now a lunar day is like 24 hours, uh, 54 minutes, so many seconds. But in the Bay model, that happens every 14.9 minutes. So every 14.9 minutes in the Bay model, you have two high tides and two low tides. Mathematically, it's changing about every 3.78 minutes. The area of the Bay Model, what we call the San Francisco Bay, Mo Bay Model Delta area, is that it represents about 1,600 square miles. It's about the size of the state of Rhode Island. When you're standing on our observation deck looking down at the Bay Model, it's about the same as flying in an aircraft above the city of San Francisco at an altitude of about 10 to 12,000 feet looking down at the Bay.